this is a short video I put together a bunch of random jet trails to show that it's not earth curve it's perspective making us see in a dome like in our background so basically our visual background is domed or curved it's curved in appearance the further away you get like that plane there is flying almost straight at us but it looks like it's going straight up because it's far away so the further they are away the more they appear to be going straight up and straight down when they get closer to us like that one there you see that it's level so as it approaches it uh levels out and then starts dropping down as it goes away from us and it can't be earth curved because let's say that plane there that's going away from us looks like it's going straight down it's probably let's say 20 or 30 miles away that couldn't be more than what four or five hundred foot of drop if we lived on a ball so that's proof that it's perspective it's not earth curve Jaron calls it the personal atmospheric dome, which I guess is as good a term as any, but it, he's right. It's observer dependent. And the farther, away, like I said, the further away something gets, the more it gives off that appearance. So it's perspective and whatever else is going on in the atmosphere. But it can't be earth curve or we'd live on a tiny ball. So I've, I've heard somebody say like our eyes are round, the earth is not. <laughs> and that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. But even if the Earth were a globe the way they describe it, that would not be enough to explain or justify the domed appearance we see. It's, uh, it does not do anything to prove Earth curve. Like that plane there, there, one's flying toward us, one's flying against us. So I recommend anybody who hadn't already to pick a clear day without too many clouds and just go look at the jet trails for 10 or 20 minutes. And it will teach you a lot about perspective. And it'll help you understand the flat earth and the way our eyes work.